Welcome back to Inside Kart. A few weeks ago, I was able to sit down with an American racing pioneer as well as a good friend. Here's this week's Behind the Scenes with Willie T. Ribs. On this week's Behind the Scenes, I'm sitting next to my racing idol, Willie T. Ribs. He actually inspired me to get involved in this industry. And Willie, thank you for joining me on Inside Kart. Today, I want to know, what in the world are you doing? You know, first of all, I hope you're not mad at me for inspiring you to be here, but you know, I've been here all my life, Chris. I mean, this is, auto racing has been my life from the time I was born. It's the greatest sport on earth. And, um, you know, right now, you know, I've had a, a, a great career so far, but uh, the book's not over. We got a lot of chapters to write. We're actually sitting inside the hospitality of Dan Gurney, and you have had a storied career with Dan Gurney, as well as Toyota. Now, I've known Dan Gurney from the time I was uh, three years old. I've known Dan uh, all my life because my daddy used to race sports cars and he knew Dan. So, you know, to know Dan all those years as a kid and then end up moving on and racing for him in IMSA, but, I mean, it was a great. Dan, uh, Dan has been the greatest team owner I've ever raced for. Now, you entered the big leagues in 1990. You became the first African-American in the history of championship auto racing teams to ever participate. Willie, how did racing impact you, and how did you impact racing? My whole reasoning for racing was because I liked to race. I didn't care about the historical part of it. I mean, when you're a kid, you don't know you're going to be the first anything. You just want to win. Right. And the same with racing in, in sports cars and going to England and coming racing in cart. The historians, the people who write the news, and the people who, who, who document uh, uh, a history were interested in it, but I was interested in, in winning races and, and being competitive and competing against my friends. I mean, I got a lot of friends in this business. I mean, Paul Tracy, Michael Andretti, I love Michael Andretti. After your career in Trans Am, you actually had someone major come up and help you out. And I just won a Trans Am race at Sears Point, and the next day on Monday, I got a call from Cosby. But I didn't think it was, a, uh, you know, I didn't think it was Cosby. I thought it may have been Paul Newman pulling a prank. It actually was Bill. He was up in San Francisco. And he asked me, how much money can we make? <laughs> and, I mean, he didn't say hello. That was the first word. How much money can we make? I said, well... These horses are, don't run around the Kentucky Derby. These horses are 850 at a time, and they spend a lot of money, and, you know, it's, racing's a converter. Converts lots of money into lots of noise. <laughs> so he says, well, why does Paul do it? And I told him he loves it, and he's got big sponsors to pay for it. He says, okay, well, that's how we'll try to do it. Is it time? to have more of an influence as far as ethnic Americans across the board, Asian American, Hispanic American, African American, to be more involved in motorsports? We have it now, actually, with crew members and so forth. Sure, sure. I mean, there, I mean, you look at, uh, especially Dan Gurney's team. I mean, Dan, Dan is, uh, is, 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 is a truly an all-American team with his, with his personnel. We are moving into a new millennium. The year 2000 is right around the corner. And, and we, we have a, a country now that it, that is working on being inclusive, all inclusive, and we have corporate sponsors in the sport that all Americans spend their money on. So you want a sport that's like this, that's that's corporate driven the way it is, to also be able to be participated by all Americans. If there's young kids out there that like racing and like cars, then their parents have to motivate them to, to learn, learn numbers, learn math, learn algebra, learn geometry, learn calculus, learn what it takes to be in this business because it's a very technical business. If you got the intelligence, this sport wants you. 